Before I get started, I wanted to tell you that there's a really exciting giveaway containing some of my favorite art supplies near the end of the video, so make sure you stay on the video until then. Back when I first started watercoloring, there wasn't really an art community on YouTube to look to for learning how to watercolor. Not a lot of people were making art videos, so I turned to a different art community. I started to look at a ton of tutorials posted on DeviantArt. Maybe some of you know what I'm talking about. You know those super long posts where you have to zoom in to see what's written? Well, there's one artist that I really looked up to called, and I'm going to butcher their name, Kinney? Q-I-N-N-I. -N they had a great post featuring Sakura Koi watercolors. That tutorial inspired me to purchase my very first watercolor set, and I really loved using it. I remember the colors were so vibrant, and just knowing that an artist that I liked used it was enough to get me to use it every day too. Eventually, as I became more interested in watercoloring, I purchased different sets and decided to give my Sakura Koi palette to a close friend. So when jet pens and if you don't know what Jap pens is, I've mentioned them several times before on this channel, but they are a Japanese stationery online store, and when they asked me what I wanted to play around with, I thought it'd be fun to revisit the Sakura Koi watercolors and see what I thought about them after having used a ton of different other brands in between that span of time. I decided to sketch a small painting in my Stillman and Burn Gamma sketchbook, which I love. As soon as I started painting, I remembered why I liked the Sakura Koi paints so much. For a really low price, the paints are surprisingly pigmented and clean, and 
The colors don't muck up so easily compared to a lot of other student brand paints, and the palette design is set up for traveling. The water brush that they include is really handy for when you, maybe when you don't have immediate access to water, like if you're on the road or at a museum or something. I don't really like to use water brushes because I find that you have little control over the amount of water that comes out, but I like to use them for quick shading when I'm sketching in the wild. The pans for the Sakura Koi watercolors are pretty small, which can be a downside for those who are looking to do large-scale painting. I would recommend these paints for anyone who's interested in starting watercolors or who wants to upgrade from watercolors like Reeves. It's an affordable set that comes with various counts of color ranges, so you can choose how much you're willing to invest in them. I still love these paints in the end, and even though I have artist-grade watercolors like Magello and Daniel Smith now, I am so excited to use these paints in future sketches and paintings. The paints are a perfect companion to those who love to sketch and draw, and I really recommend them.
I'm so grateful that JetPens offered to help host a giveaway of this watercolor palette. You'll essentially receive all the products that I used in this video. There's going to be one winner, and the items that you can win are one Sakura Koi watercolor set, really similar to the one that I used in this video. You can also win the sketchbook that I used in this video, the Stillman and Burns sketchbook, which I highly recommend to anybody who loves mixed media or watercolor. And then you can also win two brushes from Royal and Lang Nickel, which were briefly featured in this video when I was adding in the thin details on the leaves near the end. I genuinely enjoy all of these products, so I'm so happy that one of you will be able to try them out too. Check the description box or the comment section to see how to enter, but basically you must subscribe to both the JetPens YouTube channel as well as my YouTube channel. Once you're subscribed to both channels, comment on this video on what your very first art supply you tried was and briefly tell me what your experience was like. I'm really excited to hear everybody's different stories. If you haven't tried any art mediums yet, then comment on what you would like to try and why. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this speed paint and review. Turn on notifications if you haven't already to be alerted whenever I post videos and make sure you follow me on Instagram for more art. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>